Welcome in Zealand 360 vous invite aux Pays-Bas cette fois-ci, euh, sur le site de Borcelleux, de, site exploité par EPZ, compagnie électrique, client historique d'Orano comme EDF en France. On va parler nucléaire, on va parler moulin à vent, forcément nous sommes en Hollande et des éoliennes, il y en a partout, mix énergétique. Je vous propose de retrouver Yann Wiman, responsable du combustible chez EPZ. Nice to the game. We are here at the site of EPZ in Barcelona. We have here the only nuclear power plant in the Netherlands. It's a 500 megawatt power plant which was built in 1973. And we have always been using the services of Orano when it was still Kojima. So that's where we started for more than 40 years ago. And what about your company EPZ? Well, our company is pretty small. We have about 400 employees, but we operate one nuclear power plant. It is the only nuclear power plant in the Netherlands. We also operate some wind turbines. We are developing some solar energy. And we used to have a coal-fired plant, but the coal-fired plant has been shut down. It is now being demolished. Because in the Netherlands, the policy is to stop the use of coal energy. How do the Netherlands meet their energetic needs? Well, for electricity, we are very dependent on natural gas because we have natural gas in our own underground and we are developing sustainable energy like a large wind field here for the coast of Borsele, so nearby. Nuclear is very limited. We are between 3 and 4 percent of the total production. In the Netherlands, there is a growing consensus that nuclear should be a part of the energy mix. We are lucky today because we are having a transport of MOX. So you see here an MX6 cask which holds six uh, assemblies of MOX for our reactor. Yeah, and you have cooperated with Orano for 40 years. Yes, absolutely, because Orano uh, offers us the services for recycling of our used fuel. And we have been doing that since 1976. So Orano TN takes the used fuel from our reactor, they provide the transport cask and they ship the fuel to La Hague in France. And the Orano cycle uh, reprocesses the fuel, meaning that you separate the useful plutonium and the useful uranium from the waste products. And then the plutonium is being used in the Orano Melox plant to make MOX fuel, which we load again in our reactor. We expect uh, Orano to perform the services that we have contracted in time and on budget. But it's also very important that you have uh, do this in a very safe and environmentally friendly way, because the company EPZ Uh, wants to prioritize the safety of operations, so it is very important also that our suppliers have a very good safety record. Are you happy with our services? Uh, yes, generally yes. If you see the MOX that we are now importing uh, today, uh, it performs very well in the reactor, so the, the quality is perfect. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and besides uh, your nuclear plant, there is uh, nuclear storage where we are, Covra. Are the nuclear waste a problem in Netherlands? No, what we do is we have selected the recycling of fuel because it reduces a lot the volume of the waste. We bring our nuclear fuel to France, then it is a mixture of uranium, plutonium, which is useful, and waste products. The waste products are separated and they come back in canisters to this building. Well, you can see it is not a big building and it contains all the waste of 40 years of nuclear power production at our reactor. So it is a very efficient solution and it is, uh, for us, it has a lot of advantages to do it this way. Everything is orange in Netherlands, like this umbrella. Yeah, well, orange is the color of our uh, royalty, as you may know. They uh, called the house of uh, orange from the south of France. But the decision to make this building orange has another background. It is to symbolize the heat of the waste. 
which is produced and the heat is decaying. You know, radioactive waste decays, it becomes less hot, less dangerous over time. So this building will be repainted every 20 years in a lighter color. The symbolism is that it is red hot when it comes out of the reactor. Then when it comes here, it is already 20 years cooled, it is orange and they will make it pink again and again. And in the end, after 100 years, it will be a white building and it will, the waste will be decayed. It's the end of our visit in Netherlands, in Barcelona. Thank you very much for your welcome. We spoke about uh, relationships between APZ and uh, Orano, but I know when you come in front, uh, you speak about these uh, ships with our colleague of LAG. Yes, that's true. I have here a ship, which are uh, ship from French origin. They come from the Ile du Vissant, and they are called Mouton du Vissant. And they are very pleasant to race, and I do it just for fun. But when I was in La Hague, I noticed that there are operators there who have the same hobby and they are raising the same type of ship. So then we have something to talk about when we have to wait during long hours when we are loading casks for waste. And then we have something else to talk about. Thank you. Okay, it was a great pleasure. <laughs>